Uh-huh. And we back again. Uh-huh. DJ Renacy Show, you feel me? I got a very special guest. You know what I'm saying? Very great creative. <laughs> My boy. You know what I'm saying? Introduce yourself one time, gang. I mean, Xavier so bass. You know what I'm saying? You like, hear the name, bro. Yeah, bro. It's name self-explanatory we itself. Hear, we lit. I'm honestly pretty excited, bro. I can't even front. Mm-hmm. Like, after talking to you past couple days, I kind of went and did my homework. No funny shit. I was trying to prepare for this uh, shit. Yeah. But like, like again, like I told you, this is not really like an interview. So like, I listened more like to see like how like life reference shit you have in your lyrics and shit like that, mm-hmm. bro. And it's mad things you said in there that I was just like, what? Like <laughs> he told you like this, but. <laughs> It's crazy because, like, you feel me? The music that you put out now is, like, heavily based. So True. nine times out of ten, you know what I'm saying, you don't know whether they're listening to, like, the lyrics or they're, mm-hmm. they're listening to it for the sound and the beats and shit like yeah. that. You know what I'm saying? That's true. That's true. It's in, in total, like, I like the whole sound, period. But now that Deluxe. I really sat there and listened, I was like, nah, this <laughs> talking. You feel me? Like, <laughs> for real, for real. Though. But how's everything? Yo, how you been? Everything's good, bro. I've been chilling. I haven't... I just haven't been skating that much. I've been trying to skate. So you That's it. so before rapping it was skating? Nah, not really. Or well, yeah, low key, yeah. Hell yeah. I it remember was. too because I remember seeing you at the one thirty pop up uh-huh. the day we uh threw it at the, uh, the skate park. Oh yeah, yeah. I yeah. think what's that on the east side? That was on, on the west side. On the west yeah. side, yeah. You were skating from. out there. Yeah, yeah, facts. Oh, that's where you from. Yeah. Like literally like that park is like a couple blocks down from our crib. All right, New York mm-hmm. raised, man. Hell yes, yeah. sir. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? Young boy Xavier in the spot, man. Yo, nah, not for nothing, though. It's been crazy how, like, rapidly your volume been going up. Even if you probably mm-hmm. don't feel like, like that way, I definitely feel that way because, like, from what we've been doing from the beginning, like, shout out Lust Hill to mm-hmm. the party that we did on my birthday Hell and stuff yeah. like that, bro. It's been crazy, bro. It's been skyrocketing. And I pay attention mm-hmm. a lot to everything that's going on. Mm-hmm. So it's just like, bro, from then till now, everything's been gradually going real, real fast, bro. Oh, no D, cap. and I feel it, though. Like, like, I, I, like, I see how, like, fast shit is moving. I just don't want, like, Instagram or, like, some shit to, like, fuck up my algorithm. I like guess a big part of it. It's like the algorithm's like boomer for me right now, but I just don't want Instagram to do like some bullshit or like SoundCloud, you feel me? I don't I mean, know. The only way I feel like Instagram, like like the algorithm will fuck up for you, it'll be probably like awesome. Like if you do something like illegal activity and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? Like maybe, but I'm not like moving like that on Instagram. Exactly, like on exactly, not Instagram. Exactly. That's crazy. You feel me? So Word. I feel like you're gonna be straight with anything like that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? For real, for Are you real. Right? Most of the time with SoundCloud, it'll probably be like samples or some shit like that. Yeah. You know, that's why when, you, when it comes to your sound, it's different, bro. You, like, it's crazy. There's this one group, yo, when I was, like, DJing back in the day with, like, Black Cray and stuff like that, there was this one group called Sicko Mob, bro, and they were from oh, Chicago. Oh, yeah, fucking all that Bob shit. Yes, yeah, bro. Yeah. Like, the sounds come, mm. like, you feel me? Sicko Mob is fire. It Shout out Sicko Mob. It gives me, like, that vibe, bro. Like, you give me, like, a Travis Porter, like, OG, mm. you feel me? Like... The bounce is crazy, bro. So, like, mm-hmm. you know, when it comes to your sound, bro, I don't think you got no problem with it on SoundCloud. It's actually pretty fire because you're, you and Certified, to me, are, like, like I, could, I, I feel like both of you guys mm-hmm. are, like, the only people that's innovating with this wave right now. That's no true. Cap. I definitely... Sound. Definitely take inspo from Certified with the claps. The fucking that shit. I be yeah. doing it because of him. I'm not gonna lie. All that Milwaukee shit is fire. Man, shout out Certified Trapper, bro. Shout okay. out Surf Gang for putting that show together. That's true. Real. That show was crazy. Yo, that's legendary, bro. I'm telling yeah. you right now, it's go- we gonna pass like five, ten years from now, bro, <laughs> and people gonna look at that show. I'm telling you, bro, oh, that lineup dear. was crazy. Wholesome, me. You, mm-hmm. I ain't even certified. get to see Wilson play. I wanted me neither, to, yeah. me neither. But he closed out the show. But I was Word. hearing the set from the outside. I know he was going crazy in there. Mm-hmm. But you feel me? Just the lineup alone, bro. Like that's just crazy for New York and Hardo played culture. too. Like who else? Who else played? Hardo, Drew Brees, yeah, and yeah, Jayden. Drew, yeah, 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 yeah. And the, 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 those were fire. Yeah, bro. Those so like, we gonna look back at that show, watch a couple years, and we gonna be like, every, not even just us, like. The culture alone gonna be like, damn, that was like an underground stamp show for New York. Period, OD, bro. bro. OD, bro. No that shit was legendary. Shout out Surf Gang, bro. I'm low key trying to like push more like shows like that and stuff mm-hmm. like that. And it's crazy because I've recently just been like, shout out Surf Gang for real. I don't know what it is, but like, it's like a whole bass sound now. Like, I, didn't, I, I used to be mm-hmm. kind of like small minded when it came to music. 
but now I'm like open to like every type of sound because you don't Fire. know what's to what. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I like music, period. So it's just like, why would I sit there and like minimize myself in some shit where it's like I can only listen to this or this is only cool? Yeah. Now it's like if I like techno, hip hop, dance, mm -hmm. or bass or anything like that, dr drum and bass, it's like I'm gonna fuck with anything that has that particular influence. You feel exactly. me? Exactly. If it sound good, it sound good. Facts. So like. As a DJ, I feel like, you know, I got to be in tune with everything. Oh, Not dear. just one Facts. thing, but it's also because what I like how I came into the game. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So how I came into the game was just like, you know, I was just fucking with one particular type of sound. And it was Hell like yeah. the underground shit then. You feel me? Mm -hmm. But now it's like it's back, but it's back and it's different. And we have access to everything, bro. Mm -hmm. You feel me? And I feel like now I'm living in, in like more of like a passionate type of style then rather yeah. just like with an end goal you feel me like now it's like my passion and i love this shit so i just want to do this shit for the love but still be strict on business you feel me mm -hmm. like that bar i have bro how you living life with no passion i was about to break yeah. that Shift up the bubble tea yo, fruit passion yo i was mm -hmm. dead about to bring <laughs> that up that's in what uh patch made patch made yeah. facts bro i was dead about to break patch that made. up when i heard that i'm like <laughs> nah, bro. Nah, like you feel me, and you mm. see what I'm saying. Like stuff like that alone is just like, damn. Cause some people dead listen to the listen to music. Period. Now, just for the sound, and I feel like that's where we at. Also, when it comes to like, I don't want to call it hyper pop, but like, you know, it's a whole scenery where it's kind of repetitive. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And a lot of the bass and and the sound of that music is just like. Is, is aggressive for y'all yeah. it's like it's more of a dance and a pop so exactly. every time I listen to it I want to groove you feel exactly, me exactly yeah at it's the dance same music, time like... now that I heard it it's like nah he's still saying something in there too mm -hmm. and I like the fact that you very peaceful and shit like everything's just about love and like yeah. you know what I'm saying most of the time like you talking your shit but at the same time you like fuck it bro like I love the world you feel me y'all yeah. fuck with me I fuck with y'all too you know what I'm saying I mean bro I just be I be saying anything. I be saying mad gay shit in my songs and shit. I be saying, yo, yeah, I be nah. saying crazy shit. Like, nah, I know you do. Talking yeah. about that shit, that yeah. fucking, that beat that went crazy, bro. Which one? Oh, the, the niggas always got their dick in my mouth? Yeah, yeah we got to talk about nah. that. You ever seen the original video? Yes, bro. Yeah, bro. No, I was no, just... no. I ain't see the original video, but I only saw the fucking... The little meme shit that they got on the internet, bro. There's another, bro, there's another video of a nigga saying the exact same shit. It was just mad funny. I was saying that shit all day. I went on live, and then I was just saying it. And See, then that and, shit fucked around and skyrocketed. And it's like, crazy because, like, <laughs> whether people, like, another, that, that, all right, it's perfect that we bringing this up right now. Because a lot of things that people mm -hmm. see on the internet or just see what we post and stuff like that, they'll be quickly to, like, judge or some shit like that. Yeah, I got so many homophobic comments, it's not even funny. Like, just niggas being, like, fucking, just saying crazy shit, like, calling me, like, gay and shit, just, like, OD, like, and they don't just even, crazy. And, and they don't even know that And he was being serious, a, that, though. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. You, was be, you wasn't being serious. I know you wasn't being I serious. I wasn't being, yeah, like, it was just a, another me? video, yeah. And that's what I'm saying. So, like, the fact that we, like, you randomly just did that on your own, because that's how mm. just you are on a chill basis, you feel exactly, me? Exactly, yeah, And yeah. then when people see that on the internet, it's just, like, they see it. On a such negative side of things, like people will go quick to judge or some shit like mm -hmm. that. Like, bro, just enjoying this shit. Just exactly, yeah. Behind that screen. So, like, exactly, yeah. Nine times out of ten, though, the things we post, we really gotta like either either we gotta be like safe about it or we just do whatever we wanna do. And yeah. whatever the people say, we don't care about that shit. That's why nah, I really fuck with like, mm -hmm. you know, you and the whole aesthetic you carry because it's on some I don't give a fuck shit. You feel me? I kind of went in that route too now. It's oh, like damn. on some like fuck it, Rand, just drop that shit, bro. Whatever it is, mm -hmm. if you feel like if it's fire or it sounds good, like just drop that shit. You know literally, what I'm saying? Literally, bro. Literally, bro. I be dropping so much. And it's funny, <laughs> bro, that we brought that fucking meme up. I'm happy yeah. we brought that meme up, oh, bro, dude. because I knew it was controversial, bro. So many people saw it. I was watch I was watching it. I'm like, nah, bro. I know they trolling the hell out of me. Ended yeah, up bro. on like drill meme pages, Facts. like some weird shit, like <laughs> yo. But look, bro, all right, all the mommies, you feel me? All the doñas, we taking them on. You know what I'm saying? We indictment <laughs> this summer. You know what I'm saying? Active. Xavier gonna pull up with the chuchero. You know what I'm saying? All that, bro. Like, so don't yo. get it fucked up. Just come trolling on the internet. You know what I'm saying? We ain't going that way. Nah, heavy on Gangster, it. Gangster. You know what I'm saying? So, all the ladies, man, tap in, yo. All my little side shorties, 
Look. Nah, I'm not gonna lie. I'm cuffed though. Look, yeah. You cuffed? Oh, I'm oh. cuffed though. Oh, <laughs> yo, look, look. My bad. My, my, <laughs> my boy got my boy tied down right now, son. I I <laughs> I like that. Damn. All right. So like, now that you say that, like, how's every how like how how's everything been with that? Like, you treating it right? Yeah, bro. She's been great. I love it. She's fire. You being young, like. Cause I ain't going front Like the way everything is Now is kinda like Unorthodox bro Everybody mm-hmm. going into shit Like We're on some fucking shit Like nobody's planning anything Or anything like That's that true. So like How do you How do you say like You know For somebody your age Like Relationship wise Like advice and stuff like that How do you carry yourself In situations like that I mean with relationships Like Yeah I mean I try to communicate As much as possible I communicate everything Facts Everything Facts Like Every little detail, like, communication. Not, not, like, not everything, everything, obviously, but, like, everything, like, relationship-wise, like, communicate that, for sure. Always, bro. Like, if you're dating somebody, you feel like you can't, you can't talk to about, like, problems and shit and stuff like that, don't, don't get into that. Like, don't date them. What you mean? Like, bro, if you just feel like you can't talk to them about, like, problems and shit with the relationship, oh, it's like, yeah, why? Of yeah, course, like, what's the of course, like, of course. You have to be 100% comfortable, bro. Yeah, bro. You yeah. can't be with somebody you can't openly be freely with, you know what I'm saying? It's mm-hmm. just a waste of time. This shit gonna crash. Hell At yeah. the same time, though, like, it's some people... I don't know what it is, bro. I've, I've been to a couple relationships, you know, in my life, and it's mm-hmm. just like, I still gave communication, but sometimes communication ain't even enough, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, it'll be points in time in your life, bro, where, you know, you're, you're not able to communicate. You feel me? Not saying communicating, mm-hmm. like, feelings and, yeah. you know, mentally, like, on how you are. But, like, you know, when you're out and you're, like, let's say you're going to get to a point where you're so busy and stuff like that. That's and you're true. making sure that communication is there. You're doing the most you can possible with your time. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes you might not be able Mm-hmm. To you know, be there and stuff like that, and the communication is now is long distance. Some people, That's need, true. you know, what I'm saying, some people need affection, some people need, you know, just you physically and stuff like that. So sometimes, I mean, it's also about willing to willing to work shit out. It's like it's a fifty fifty. It's like, for example, like like if I'm out fucking doing such and such for like however long, then I don't know. We could probably agree to like take a break from each other or something, yeah. shit like that, like. There's just stuff like that, willing to make like sacrifices. If you was to take shit. a break, you still gonna remain loyal? Yeah. Fire. Type shit, yeah. Hell yeah. Fire. It's, yo, look. Sh- whoever Shorty is, yo, you got a special one. Y'all ain't gonna lie. You feel me? He <laughs> She's gonna be watching me. this too. For he sure. reminded me of myself. You feel me? Loyal boys. <laughs> he, that's all we do. We keep it loyal. You know what I'm Hell saying? Yeah. Even Hell then, yeah. like, loyalty just goes further than just a relationship, you know? And I feel like that's one of, like, the codes that a lot of people don't stand by right That's now. That's true. And it's like I said again, unorthodox shit. People on some fucking shit, bro. It's like opportunists a lot. You know, everybody trying to get to the next step. Everybody mm-hmm. trying to get to the next level. And it's just like, dude, you feel me? Slow down, bro. Like, nah, word. You know, see what's around you. Know how to hold it. Know how to get in yourself. Like, you know, and it's just like everybody could have a little role. Where as long as you're working on the sideline, you doing your thing, you're going to go up, bro. Brody not going to forget about you. I'm not going to forget about you. Mm-hmm. I'm loyal, bro. I'm watching you work. At the same time I'm working, I'm watching you work, too. So whatever comes with me is going to come with you, too. But you know exactly. what I'm saying? You got you to gotta keep the loyalty within yourself, not just everybody as well. But some some people going to understand. Some people not. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So to each his own. But that shit is big, bro. It's not only just the relationship. Hopefully, you know, the, the shit gradually changes or, like, you know, we... People like us Gonna tend to inspire the people And they take it You feel me And whatever mm-hmm. they do With the info Apply to it You know what I'm saying But mm-hmm. bruh It's like Everybody running out here With their heads cut off bro Trying to cut yeah, the next bro. head You feel me So a lot of people Don't got patience too Ooh, <laughs> Man yo Yo how old are you bro 19 19 Yeah 19 and he talking like this bro 19 Bro, patience was like the main thing I always spoke about on my come up, bro. Because look, bro, I got seven years going in this shit. Mm-hmm. You feel me? And shout out Cavity, shout out Brass. You feel me for putting this shit together, like giving me this platform so I could do stuff like this. But like, bro, like you know what I'm saying? It took me patience to get here, bro. Hell yeah! It took me multiple things to get here, like you know, a couple losses, trials and tribulations. But the fact that I'm here with peace and happiness and passion. 
Mm-hmm. And love Passion, is yeah. what I really like about it, bro. Before I was going about things with like money and just opportunity. Even when I had money on my own, bro, I was trying to do stuff on my own. Like, yo, fuck it. Let me see what I could do with $10,000 or $5,000 that I got. You know what I'm saying? And see if I could put something together and see what opportunities come out of it. Mm-hmm. The fact that I kind of removed that mindset and was like, nah, bro, I got to do this shit because I love this shit. For real. And it's just like, whatever happens, happens. As long as I'm putting out my creativity and, you know, my family's accepting it mm-hmm. and they're happy with what I'm doing, then I know I'm doing it for the right thing. You know what I'm saying? I feel Hell like yeah. you're doing it for the same thing, too. I'm definitely on some patient shit right now. I'm just trying to, like, with my shit right now, I'm just trying to build, like, my fan base for real. I don't want it to be on some, like, I blow up on TikTok and everyone that's hopping wave to wave. Just happens to jump on mine, then they all leave to the next one. I want it to be like, really. Do you feel like it's like that right now? I don't feel like it's like that. Not right now, but like, I feel like there's a possibility of that happening, like without me wanting it to. Is there any song that has like reached TikTok or anything like that or not? A lot of my tight beats. Like the tight beats people make on YouTube. Facts, facts. I peeped those been going viral. Those yeah. been going viral. Them shits is crazy, bro. It's the sound. I'm telling you, it's the yeah. sound of that when it's sped it up. It's just like, it's yeah. a whole different wave, bro. And I'm just so happy because it's still underground. But you're right, bro. Once TikTok get a grab of it, shit might just fuck the algorithm up. Yeah, shit no might cap. just... And then the shit gonna get burnt out. It's like, especially because it's my tight beats. It's not even my music. So imagine my sound goes up and then that shit dies. And then I'm still doing my shit, and then niggas listen to my shit like, yo, why you doing this burnt out ass sound? Yeah, bro. The whole time it was my shit the whole time, like just stuff like that. So I'm just trying to build like a loyal fan base right now. I'm taking like the slow route with it, kind of. Yeah, I definitely agree. like most most people are like just trying to blow up on TikTok right now. Yeah, I feel. Yeah, uh, TikTok. I mean, it's cause people. Uh, it's just a lot. Just, just statistic shit. You feel mm-hmm. me? And niggas want the shit fast. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like, like, bro, just create. Yeah. Just create. Yeah, facts. If you fire, you got creativity or whatever the case is, bro. Whatever you do and whatever you make out of it, it's going to be fire, bro. Just mm. trust in the process. Like, it's, it just comes down to patience. The shit we just spoke about, Also, bro. I get it, though. The slow route doesn't make, like, money right away. A lot they of don't. people, a lot of people, this is, like, like their thing that they want to do for the rest of their life. Yeah. And it's like they want to, yo. I can't think right now. I'm on like and no sleep. sleep, yo. <laughs> well, no sleep I right almost, now. I got I, bad I, brain fog and shit. I almost hit no sleep. See, I can't prepare low key because I was afraid. No, I slept. Like, nah. I, I slept a little bit, but like I had to. I ain't going front. I was up to like seven in the morning. You feel me? Fortnite be having fucked up. Shout out week. my boy, yo, man. Look, I I like games. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying. I don't know. I feel like Modern Warfare and stuff like that is like, it's, it's too technical. You know what I'm saying? I just like playing games for fun. I'm not really like a gaming person. Only only games I play right now is like, I be having... um. I play Skate 2. I'm waiting for Skate 4, but EA <laughs> capping like, what's up? The Alpha's fire. You know what I'm the saying? Skate 4 Alpha's tough. I played it. What? The Alpha. Like the like the pre-stages like stages of the game, they like dropped that? that. It's on PC. They dropped it. What? Yeah, I was playing that shit. That shit fire. I didn't even know. That shit is tough. Yo, that's crazy. That shit is tough. Damn, but but only only games I play right now. I got like 2K16 and 17 on my PC. Like the servers are shut down, but I still be playing. So you be rocking 2K, huh? Yeah, 2K is fire. You fuck with NBA? Yeah, but only really 16 and 17. That's crazy. 16 and 17. I have those on my computer, and I NBA shit. and I be playing um. Tony Hawk's Underground a lot. Oh yeah, for sure. Thug Pro, like I just be playing that. They don't. They ain't come with no uh, new Tony Hawk, right? No. Nah, they did. So. They got the um, the Pro Skater one and two. Like they remastered it. One and two, like they I combined it. They remastered that. that shit for the for the PS4. That get it's alright. It's not that bad. Man, it's I that went on skate, bro. No <laughs> cap, that's my shit. They capping on EA cap, man. Oh, Same dude. thing with GTA Six, man. They, you, you, seen, you seen they leak like. Some GTA 6 shit, apparently. Yeah. And, like, that shit got, was getting deleted, like, everywhere. Mad quick. Like, Rockstar was trying to, like, get rid of it. Like, <sighs> that shit never coming out. Man, I, I used to be such in the game phase, but I had to get out of that, bro. Like, I ain't going front mm-hmm. now. I just kind of play play with it for fun. And it's just, like, Fortnite is Used to be like raging the, and shit? Huh? Used to be raging and shit? Bro. Like, taking I, it serious? 
I, I used haven't... to record montages and all that, bro. That's how serious <laughs> I was, bro. I used to play Gears War, Halo. I still got a little gaming channel. I'll be uploading little clips and shit, but like, bro, I haven't like took a game serious in so long. You you been in a Twitch and stuff like that? You ever stream live? I never streamed, but like. I had like a little YouTube channel and shit. I, I definitely like want to stream. I ain't gonna lie. That's probably that. If I do something like that and I start with a lane like with twitching and mm -hmm. stuff, I'll probably take the game. And, the game actually, I have serious. I have streamed more recently on like YouTube and shit. Okay. Like just streaming me YouTube playing like been Tony Hawk and shit. Up, bro. I can't even That's front. True. Yo, uh, what what do they have on YouTube right now? It's like the reels, right? Or the something. shorts. Yeah, YouTube bro, shorts? that shit crazy, bro. Everything trying to turn up, bro. Like yeah. Instagram, Instagram everything. mainly. Instagram, they took the stories, they got the um the lives. They took that shit from Twitter, like the Periscope shit. Yeah. They took the reels. Bro, I'm getting tired of all the social media. They shit, made the bro. the even the videos. You can make them like 10, 20 minutes. How you feel about like social media? Just period, bro. Like let alone. I wouldn't like, be on it if I didn't make music. <sighs> If I didn't make music, I would not be on that shit. You don't, like, see, and that's crude. Yeah, bro, that's heavy that you say that, bro, because mm -hmm. shit, now I'm questioning myself. Would I be DJing if, you know what I'm saying, all of that was here? But I don't know, bro, like, even even down to, like, MySpace days, bro, like, mm -hmm. people were putting their music on there, on their pages and stuff like that. So it's just like. I've heard about that era. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. So it's just like, who, like, who's to what, like. I can't even speak on it because I wasn't like, you know, that's super past. Like past that, mm -hmm. people were just making music without social media. So it's just like it was. Yeah, for bro. The making sound. making music without like internet and like social media was crazy. I remember I saw this um the OJ OJ the Juice Man No Jumper shit. He okay. was talking about how I forgot who it was, but like someone just in the hood like just made a studio for niggas to just come record. And it's like and it was really like just some mixtape shit. You go in the hood, exactly. you go in the corner store, you get your mixtapes, you feel me? Or they'll have like a CD store. Like in my in my town, in my hood, mm -hmm. they'll have like a CD store and you was you was able to go in there, they had yeah. the smack DVDs, <laughs> they had the rap shirts. Yeah, bro. It was but like I was super just, archive shit. I was saying that to say, um, I forgot. Bro, my, my brain isn't working right Yo, now. Yo, nah, <laughs> son. <Yeah>. Nah. <laughs> But yeah, oh, man, yeah, yeah, so yeah. much. Yeah, I was saying that to say, bro. I mean, getting like getting into making music back then must have been mad hard, or like just like. Nah, I don't I know. It, it could be, but at the same time, you gotta just see it. It was probably like they was more than now, bro. You know what I'm saying? Word. So like, I mean, if you were trying to rap, you had to get studio time. Yeah, equipment you, was probably way more expensive. That definitely. I mean, now, agree. now you can get like a little cheap. Like you can get like, like an AT twenty twenty focus right, like two hundred dollars. My homies. He records off a headset. I used on to. his phone, bro. Oh, band lab. I I don't know what the. That's what that's what most of like. I'll, yeah, <laughs> he's right here. You feel me? Like that's what most of like the Milwaukee niggas do. Like Tay Rax and them, and like all that. They be like using band. Yo, lab where's A.O. Lee and, and Maj G from? I seen that. They in Milwaukee. Me? Oh, that's all Milwaukee. Hey, yo, Lee has has shit on certified page. Yeah, yeah, Pat. Yeah. Shout out. Shout out A.O. Lee and, and Maz. I definitely seen them. I definitely been peeping mm -hmm. and shit like that. I seen y'all all been working and stuff like Hell that. Yeah. Somebody had mentioned, I'm trying to remember now, somebody had mentioned A.O. Lee to me and shit, but I remember seeing that y'all work together and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So like, yo, it's crazy too because everybody makes beats and everybody rap. I love it. Like, they, I love it. Y'all make used to hate beats the, and rap. I used to hate the, because I started out as a prod, really. Like I was mainly making beats. So you was so, producing first. I started producing in like 2013. I was just talking to Braz about it. Wow. I saw Lex Luger making beats. I was like nine or ten. He was making wow. my FL. I was like, I gotta do it. I know funny shit. shit this the only time y'all gonna hear it. I tried to rap before I started. <laughs> you I was telling from, me about that. I went from rapping. Yeah. yeah, facts. I went from rapping to trying to produce. And then when I knew both of them shits wasn't working out, mm -hmm. I was like, I got to find what I'm really good at. Mm -hmm. And it was just me liking music, period. Shout out to my cousin. You feel me? He passed away. But he was the one that really like, yeah. was like, yo, Ren, your sound is crazy. And at the time, I was already on like the different shit. The different shit was like off records, fucking McConan. Oh, you yeah. You feel me? Yeah, like, yeah. Shout key, out to McConan. Yeah, 2 9 and stuff like that. So like, he was some hood. He was hearing me turn up shit with that and he's just watching me like the way I would bump to it. He's mm -hmm. like, nah, bro, 
you gotta just DJ, bro. You fuck with the hood shit, and then you fuck with this. Mm-hmm. It's just like you gotta put it together. Yeah, literally. And that's how yeah. I made the world collide, and that's mm-hmm. how I really got in tune with like just creating like the whole underground world, bro. For mm-hmm. real, for real, it was just so different to even show people that, like from my hood and stuff like that, to show them like, yo, bro, it's something bigger than just this. Something bigger than what y'all be listening to. Do you oh, feel dear. like that be around like that around you and stuff when you was growing up, bro? In middle school, high school, I remember trying to put people on the mad shit. In high school. I was trying to put people on to like. Have you always been trying to put like people on? Yes. Yeah. Nobody ever like fucked with anything. Like I would try to put people on to like Wyland and like Summers and shit in high school. Now everyone listens to like Yeet. Yeet is would literally used to be like their little homie type shit. Facts. Like Yeet came up crazy. Facts. It's like it's mad funny. Like everything, like. Also, like, Drain Gang and shit, blowing the fuck up. Everybody listen to Drain Gang now. I feel like Like, I grew up on that. Yeah. Like, trying to put people on and shit. Like, everybody listen to that now. It's crazy. Where music's at right now is just, like, it's everywhere, bro. The platform and, like, you know, the accessibility Mm -hmm. is, like, so easy. So, you know, you can find anything everywhere now, bro. For real. You know why? I was going to say, you know why people fuck with that type of shit so much now, though, I feel? I feel like it's because, like, COVID. Because... You knew about that type of shit if you was on the internet. Yeah. Once everybody was in the house on the internet, they found that shit so quick, so easy. Yeah. Especially with TikTok. That, it was... Yeah. TikTok really boosting a lot yeah. of shit. But you're right, bro. I don't like it because it'll it'll take it somewhere where we don't want to take it. And then people will probably just... Now it'll, it'll fuck it up to the point where they'll listen to it then and then it won't be shit after. So it's just mm. like, you know, you're right when it comes to fucking up the algorithm. That's why I kind of liked it when it was very minimal. Like Vine was like cool yeah, because Vine it wasn't was too much. It wasn't. Vine the more they update it, the more they make it worse because it's more accessibility. <laughs> for real. Yeah, they got to yeah. stop updating the shit. Let <laughs> create. Do what they do with the little bit y'all give us, bro. They don't need to see everything. They don't need to know everything, We live bro. in a greedy world, though. It makes them more money. Facts. Like, fuck, bro. Like, I, I wish this shit was just about love. You know what I'm saying? But, like, but it's not, sometimes sadly. you can't even do shit with love, bro. People will take your love and kill you with it. You feel mm-hmm. me? So it's just like, you just oh, got to be level-headed with this shit, bro. There's so much shit going on nowadays in this world, bro. I just um, want to I wanna bring back that vibe of, like, when I was growing up listening to Goth Money and Gravity Boys. I that. feel like we like that right now. You don't low feel key. like we like that right now? We It's kinda. low key. The it's, shit we have going on, kind of. Like, we bringing that back. It's it, The only reason why it's low key, too, is because, like, peop, now it's people like that starting to take initiative about it. Mm-hmm. Myself, Surf Gang, No yeah. Bells, shout out yeah, them. You feel true. me? I seen that they ain't tuned you now, pushing mm-hmm. that Xavier agenda. Yeah. yeah. You know Hell what I'm saying? Yeah. 1C shit. Hell yeah, you know 1C, saying? bro. But, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, People like us, it takes people like us to push it to the next platform or to even show it to the world. You know what I'm saying? Because, mm-hmm. like, what are we going to do? Patience definitely works. But yeah. is the world going to wait? We can't wait on it, bro. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So it's just like we got to find a way to keep that shit going, bro. And I Not feel literally. like at the same time, us being patient and us just creating, people are going to find us regardless, bro. The light is going to be found regardless. You know That's what, what I'm saying? saying. That's why I'm just, like, like taking not necessarily the slow route because I drop a lot. But, like, I'm not tweaking, like, like I'm just building my shit up piece by piece. Yeah. I'm not trying to, like, just blow up. What's a couple quick. of your, like, inspirations, for real, for real? Like, what's, I want to know what's, like, dead behind, like, Xavier So Bass, bruh. Inspirations? It's a lot. Like, I don't even want to say inspo. Fuck that. I want to say, like, like, how, how Xavier So Bass came about, name and just aesthetic-wise, your swag and shit. I mean, shit, my name, like came from i was like making an iCloud and i was just listening to mad like Lil b like ocean gang and shit yeah facts. yeah so i was like probably like i got my first i when i got my first laptop i was probably like 13 14 five mm-hmm. and then um i mean just the vibe and the aesthetic like um Shit was super bass back then, bro soldier yeah. boy bro like, it was when soldier so boy was an ocean bro. gang like that was that was fire. Yo, it's 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 pretty far to see where you at mindset wise, yo. No Thank cap. You, I'm happy Thank you got you, you got to come it. on here in my platform, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And we got to speak and, you know, just teach these like, you know, up and coming kids and stuff like that, you know, what it really mm-hmm. is, bro. Cause a lot of people, like I said, bro, they see what we just put like on the internet and stuff like that. Oh dear. But like we really just be doing this shit regularly, like this who he is, bro. Like the troll, whatever they wanna <laughs> do or whatever. We just living our lives, bro. Yeah, we might have to you do part two. What? 
We have to do a part two. Yo, I ain't going to front. They definitely going to want a part two, bro. Yeah, we going to have to do one. Better get some rest for the part oh, two, Oh, D, I need, to, I need to have my mind right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We going to be on here hitting that, bitch. Oh, you D. know what I'm saying? Yo, oh, shit. thank you for being on this platform, gang. Thank you for being course, on the podcast thank you, thank today. you for having me, bro. I appreciate it you know so much. Yo, shout out my boy Xavier Sobe. Shout out 1C, man. It's shout lit, out Cali Entertainment. DJ Renishi Show, man. Appreciate y'all. Peace. Peace.